Hey babe, welcome back to the day in the life of an OTA student. So, whew, I feel like I've been gone for a little minute, but that's just because your girl been going through the motions. Your girl been on a roller coaster, okay? So, um, yeah, just to, well, if you're a new viewer, Hello, my name is Tay, the OTA babe, and I am an occupational therapy assistant student currently in her fieldwork level two first rotation. The setting that I am in is in the inpatient rehab unit at the hospital, and I have been there almost coming up to two months, and after I finish this rotation, I will be transitioning on to my final rotation. And after that, I will be graduating. So if you have not, make sure to definitely subscribe. If you are new, definitely go back to the old videos to keep up of the crazy world, the madness. Join the party, okay? Hi, how you doing? And also make sure you subscribe to my, I said subscribe, follow my TikTok page at Tay Goldie, at Tay Goldie, and that is going to definitely put you up on a lot of tea because I vlog, well, I have vlogged my whole entire school experience in occupational therapy school. So if you are interested in joining the program, if you ever had any questions about it, I literally made a whole series on my TikTok page dedicated to the ins, the outs, the good, the bad. Um, Every moment you can think of in occupational therapy school is on my TikTok page. So just so you know, this channel is dedicated to definitely more longer video content as far as vlogging my everyday. And also it will be dedicated to posting more educational content. For those who are just a bit more visual learners, I want to dedicate it to you guys um, and just post about topics that you guys are going to see upcoming in the program. And also if you are a current student, this is going to give you an additional resource to you. So yeah, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I have definitely been so, so busy with this rotation. So it's really been hard to edit, but I am getting back in the gear of things and feeling good and back in good spirit. So yeah, so just to update you guys, this is my week seven. So I only have one more week left after this week. Today is currently, thir oh, not Thursday. Today is currently Wednesday. Um, tomorrow I have Thursday off and I will be working the weekend and yeah, so definitely got to take tomorrow to rest and gather my thoughts to prepare for this weekend. Also, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for just bearing with me. Um, just bearing with me, checking in on me because if you follow my TikTok page, you know that I posted a video about, you know, just, you know, a transparency video that talks about me um, just dealing with the natural emotions that are, you know, that come along with being a new, new learner. Well, not a new learner, but just a student coming on to field work level two and feeling discouraged and not feeling as confident during my treatment sessions sometimes and just really in my head about certain things and methods and treatment interventions and just being hesitant just being hesitant um about it um so definitely on my tiktok i posted about it because i wanted um you guys to know that i am not perfect at all like i am a beginner just trying to figure things out and trying to do it the best way i can without being so hard on myself um so yeah last week was definitely well not last week but the week before last week i definitely um was emotional and i let out a few tears because i was just i guess i was just kind of overwhelmed with just life and school and having to do this rotation and not feeling my best and I wasn't feeling like I was putting in my best effort at times um just because I don't know it was just a confidence thing um 
I'm the type of person I like to execute as best as I can, but I don't know. I think at that moment I was definitely um just feel, I guess I was just feeling burnt out and I guess I was just feeling, you know, just just low on confidence basically. And um my CI definitely gave me some words of encouragement. Um, another coda that I actually got a chance to shadow this week. Shout out to you. Um, she's so great. Um, she gave me words of encouragement as well to just keep going. Don't let anything stop you. You are doing great. Just, you know, just keep going. Study the, study the interventions. Look up YouTube videos. Look up, you know, um, just search for interventions if you ever no, need some ideas and I definitely just needed to hear you know those words so looking back hindsight I definitely could say my biggest problem area was verbal cueing to the patients if you do not know what verbal cueing is that is basically giving the patient flat out simple instructions on how to execute the task um, during your treatment session so that can you know apply with proper body mechanics, how to get out of the bed, you know, supplies to sitting at the edge of bed, sit the stands. Um, that can be, you know, simply just motivating the patient to start the task. And, you know, just overall, just giving them instructions on what you want them to do. And it may sound simple, but I will tell you guys, it's different um most of verbal killing so when i say that i just means you can deal with a patient that only requires minimum verbal killing or you can deal with a patient that requires moderate verbal killing so in the middle and then of course is the max verbal killing this patient definitely needs you to guide them step by step on how to execute and the reason i feel like you know looking back it was so difficult for me was because I wasn't confident in what I was doing. So if I'm not confident in what I'm what I'm doing, how can I, you know, give this patient a guide on how to complete something that I am not confident in? So that caused me to definitely stay in my head a lot. I would shut down and in the midst of me shutting down, I'm trying to process what to say that can make um I'm trying to process to the uh, in my head to what to say to the patient but it's just like i'm just thinking about so many things so many steps that it causes me to kind of freeze up and when i freeze up of course the patient is just sitting there like okay like what are we going to do and then you have some patients that of course are going to get frustrated because you're not i'm not telling them what to do and they're just like you know what forget it. i'm not doing anything and wrap it up so so i definitely my biggest takeaway from this whole rotation was being able to communicate what i want to the patient and you know having building a rapport with them you know treating them like they're human because they are most of the patients that you're gonna see you know they were independent before they ended up in the situation that they're in and they just want you know the tools of how to get back functioning as best as best way they can and during that time you have to be able to communicate in a way that uplifts them and makes them want to you know carry on the session with you because you know they have the right to not want to work with you and that's just what it is. So as a therapist, you have to keep in mind, okay, how can I make this day for this patient good? How can I be a part of a milestone for this patient? How can I facilitate this, uh, help facilitate this session to where it meets a goal for this patient and it makes them feel good? And you're not gonna get to that goal without being able to communicate what you want from them so i definitely took away you know that this whole rotation so as soon as i was able to gain my confidence in what i was doing i was able to effectively communicate with the patient throughout the whole entire session and honestly just have fun be a relief for them you know be a cheerleader for them 
and just make the overall session smooth and enjoyable for both parts. So yes, communication, communication, communication is key in everything, okay? So the second thing and the main thing that I definitely want to touch on in a problem area that I have and just I want to just make sure you guys are on your game is to understand the diagnosis, understand your diagnosis and understand the deficit to which that diagnosis hinders. Um, you got to know what limitations your patient's have okay you have to know their limitations in order to come up with the proper intervention to what you want the patient to do because your intervention has to meet a goal your intervention has to you know just just overall just tackle and target the limit okay or the hindrance your patient have so for instance if you're dealing with a stroke patient you should know that the stroke is going to occur on either the left or the right side of the brain if for example it occurs on the right side that means the whole entire left side of the body is weak and flaccid basically no movement at all so as a therapist okay what intervention can i do with this patient that can help them all right so we know that the left side is weak we know that the arm has no movement at all so we're going to do some passive range of motion exercises with this patient simple we're going to do something that stimulates the arm okay we're going to do some weight shifting let's engage the core that's what you need to have in your mind as coming coming into before you even get to the treatment session you need to have this all written out and mapped out as to what you're going to do um if you're dealing with a copd patient okay what is the main thing that you know limits them or hinders them okay they might get fatigued very easily so we're going to do some energy conservation you know exercises with them we're just gonna you know build that endurance back up that's what we're gonna do all right in the hospital you're gonna see a lot of hip fracture patients what is the main thing that they need to get back doing they need to build up that standing tolerance. So let's just do a tabletop activity that can get them to stand and, you know, just practice on standing. Or, you know, maybe let's do some sit to stands at the edge of bed. So main thing, once you understand how to communicate, once you know the deficits and the proper intervention as to what you're going to get this patient to do, you're going to be a-okay. You're going to kill it. You, everything is going to be so natural to you. It's going to it's gonna feel like, wow, did I really do that? Yes, yeah, you really did. And give yourself that pat on the back and just keep going to the next and just keep practicing, keep honing your skills and perfecting your craft. And I promise you, you will be okay. You know, it just takes time just look at me it took me some time but we made it okay we made it we made it we made it now to close out this video i definitely cannot close it out until i give my babes advice firsthand okay so first thing first before you even enter your field work level two i want you guys to definitely have a mind shift change okay become positive you guys made it thus far give yourself that you know pat on the back because you guys just hit a whole milestone you guys are about to you know head off to your field work level two okay so good job second i want you guys to be positive be positive within because it's going to be some days you don't feel like getting up okay i'm just be real it's going to be some days you don't feel like getting up it's going to be some days where you know, you just shut down. It's not going to be peaches or cream, but as long as you stay positive, you can get through it. You can power through it. Okay. That's second. Number three, have confidence in yourself. Okay. You know a lot more than you think you do. I'm going to repeat. You know a lot more than you think you do. You spent so much time learning about the different diagnosis, learning about the different treatment treatment um, interventions, just learning. So don't ever let that, you know, take that for granted. You know what you know. And if you don't know, ask questions. Now is the best time. 
soak everything in and you're going to do amazing i can already see it so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give me a big follow and a big like and drop down in the comments below if if i need to go over anything if you guys are still questioning something feel free to comment down below and i will see you guys next time bye